one. It's Sammy from Sammy Sweet Life, and I am super excited. This is one of the Tomoe River paper planners that I was super excited to get my hands on. If you guys have seen a recent <laughs> Tomoe River paper planner video from me, it was a teeny tiny little A6 planner, and this is the actual A5 take a note. I'm super excited. They must have had some in their store. They must have done something where they had overstock or something because this was listed in their store. And not only that, it was marked down a teeny tiny bit and I snagged one. I don't know why I ended up looking at their website. And I was like, it's about dang time for me to get one. They had them in stock. And now it is in a different currency when you go to check out. So be warned, it looks really expensive. They still use the dollar, like US dollar mark, but it said something like a thousand <laughs> and it was not US dollars. So. Just keep that in mind, it ended up being like $35, including the shipping, which is not bad at all, I feel like. It's like some of the shipping. Okay, there's one company, you may know, it's a Tomoe River Planner, did not get one because their shipping to the United States is $30, like three zero for one planner. And that's too much, so I haven't gotten their planner yet, unfortunately, but their planner's lovely. But yeah, I got this one, take a note planner, super excited about it. It's in the same box as the A6 was in, but this happens to be the A5 size. Same wrapping, same little bookmark and thank you note they got. Look at that beautiful foiling, so pretty. And then you can pull it up with the little flappy. And there it is, super exciting. I was really just chomping at the bit to get this one. 2023, take a note, schedule planner, regular. So the mini is the A6, the regular is the A5, and I don't want to damage this, but we're gonna slice into it a little bit and see if I can get through. Yeah, okay, I got through there and it is uh, getting ready for school to be out. So there are bicycles and all sorts of cars going by. It's gonna be a noisy time outside. But I'm super excited. I really love the way this one looks. I know like it looks kind of unfinished with that exposed binding, but I think it's really neat like that, really pretty. And it's A5 size, so I can stick it in a folio system if I need to. And it looks like every other one of the tabs is brown and then gray. So it alternates brown, gray for those tabs. I'm sure this one's gonna be set up just like the A6 was, but we're gonna flip through and look through everything anyway, because you may not watch that one and you may only be interested in the A5, and I know I wanna see all the goodness, so. It's got like a chipboardy type of uncoated cover with the gold foiling on there. It does look like rose gold there. I'm gonna zoom you in just a teeny tiny bit so you can see the whole thing. And it has the, another piece of that coverlet right here, but a thinner piece. And then the front sheet, and this is a different way to do it. The thing you write on is actually in the back. It's got a place for all your contact info. Of course, you could still write it on here just because it doesn't have a line doesn't mean you can't write it on there. And then this one's a really interesting way that they do it. They've got the year at a glance here. You've got a couple of months to backtrack, your 2023 and a couple of months moving forward to 2024. This is a dated 2023 planner, but it gives you a little bit of month stuff um, on either side of the year. So we'll see that when we move into it. But I love the color scheme of this. It's got the brown and the gray alternating. And I really like that. One of the things I just hate about the Hobonichi is the red. I don't like it at all. So this one's just like a toned down, completely beautiful neutral. And I just love it so much. And this is what's unique about it. This habit tracking page, it is a year long thing. You have the months down the side and then each month has a line here, but it has got two little grid dots. So if you're tracking two different habits, this is a perfect little page for you to track two things every single day of the whole year, and then you see it on one page spread, which I think is super cute, really unique and different. And then if you wanna track more habits or do like a line a day, you have these spreads. You get two of these for the full year there. And these are really nice too. It's like very similar to other habit trackers that other of these planners have. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 grids right there. So I feel like it'd be really nice to do 10 habits or whatever and leave one space gap and then it would look nice and clean and sleek. And then you have all this room down below. I love the headers. They're just nice and clean and sleek looks really good. And I did order also the US holidays one. They have a Taiwan holidays and US holidays. And then all the pages are also numbered and they start with zero. So it's zero, zero, five for the page. So all of them have three digits all the way through. And let's see, the last page on here is 255. So it goes all the way through 255. Here is the second part of the habit tracker. 
And then you move into the month pages, and this is where the page numbers come in handy. Each week has a page number, so that's the weekly overview, weekly spread page for this week. It starts on the last week of December because it happens to have January 1st right here. So this is what the actual monthlies look like. We'll look at the pages in a minute, but it gives you lots of space on the side here. It does carry across those grid lines from the calendar across so you could do different sections like maybe five main goals or main things for the month you have this gap down at the bottom that's all grid space and then also this gap up at the top that's all grid space love it and again gray and brown the weekends are brown and it's a monday start so you can keep the weekends together and then across this part you do have a gap a same thing the line goes all the way across so you have five little boxes here the page number for that weekly spread is up at the top and you'll see when you move into a month that's the complete 2023 year um, each week has a number. So you can find whatever week, weekly spread you're going to easily going back and forth like that using those page numbers at the bottom. So you move in, like you saw, you get December, so one month before the year. And then you also get a few months after for the next year. So it's really um, a 16 month planner because you get one in the front and then three months here in the back, which is really nice. And then here is where your weeks start. And these weekly spreads are really where I think this planner is so unique and lovely and very special. Sometimes you don't need an entire page for a day, but you need more than a skinny, teeny, tiny column. So instead of doing a two page spread for each week, they do a four page spread. You can see each day of the week has a half a page. It does have numbers down the side for you. And then it also not only has the daily page, it has the weekly overview right here, which is really, Really cute. The grid on this is really light, but you can see there's a darker grid down the midline of this section. So each day of the week has a section, but you can divide it into two little boxes if you want to do like your appointments for the day, your calls of the day, or if you're working meetings of the day, other things like I would be like, these are my main things. These are the kids after school activities on the day. I could split it up really easily like that. If you want to do it as like a nutrition or a workout thing, you could totally put your workout here and then do your food logging on this part. I could see so many possibilities for this layout. And I think it's so great. I could also do like the dinners, like dinners down here, appointments and things on this side. There's just so many possibilities on this. And I just love the way that this one looks. So. That is how the calendar works. It looks like the weekends are the brown color. You can see the weekend being brown. It does give you the moon phases. It's supposed to give you the US holidays as well on here. As far as the weekly days go, the day gives you a bunch of gap space up at the top. It also has you starting at 6 a.m. with these numbers and it goes all the way down actually back to 3 a.m., which is interesting. So it's um, a 24 hour clock. So there's 24, so that would be midnight, and then 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., and then you have more space down at the bottom. So you really have room to do a 24-hour schedule because you got a little bit of gap up here and a little bit of gap down here. For my own purposes, I probably wouldn't even use the hourly stuff at all, but it's there in case you need it. And then there's what it looks like. Also, it's a little tiny bit darker across lunch, so 12 to 1 p.m. You have a little bit of a darker spot to mark off lunch. And that's what it looks like. You just move in from month to month. That's what it looks like. The weekdays are gray and the weekends are brown. That's what it looks like. It just flips all the way through, all the way through. We'll see until we get to a switch. So this is still January going through and then you move into February here. So February starts here. And you just keep going all the way through. And that's pretty much how the whole planner is set up. You see your um, monthly tab areas there so you can put your own tabs on it or you can just use your um, finger and flip to the right section and then you get all the way to the end this is coming up on the end of December there and it looks like you don't get much as far as note pages at the end so we're moving to the very end of December and because December 2023 ends on a Sunday you don't get any extra days for January you just move right into some lined paper so you get one two three four four little lined paper areas and then you move right to the back area like I said before there's your contact information and then it's the same kind of backer as the front page just like an uncoated chipboardy type of thing and I just love it it's just so neutral and 
earthy toned and beautiful and I'm just hooked. I love it so much. I'm really thinking and leaning towards moving into this one at the end of June because my half year sterling ink will be complete at that point. I'll fill this whole thing out and I might end up moving into this one as my sticker sneeze because it gives me so much more room to write and practice brush lettering and add more stickers. It's just such a nice little blank canvas. Half a page A5 size is just so nice. So I don't know, I might end up using it for something else, but I really think that's the direction I'm going at this point because I have just been drooling over this one since the first time I saw it. I thought, oh, it's just such a perfect layout. You still get the vertical column, but it's nice and wide so I can still write like a full to-do list item down the list because I like to write my to-do list items as verb items a lot of times. So that means you use more than one word. And I love that you get the weekly overview on there as well. It's just so nice, just beautiful. So I'm loving that one. And that is it. I do have an A6 review. It's set up the same way, but just a much smaller, um, more compact little book. You'll see this in lots of videos coming up. I'll have a playlist down below if you happen to catch this um, later on. There's what it looks like. I'm in love. They did have a few when I checked out. They were still selling these, so they might still have a few in stock. I'll link to their website, and it's, you know, it's a Taiwan website, so just keep that in mind. You are paying different currency. I did I think I paid through PayPal, so it was easy. I hope you guys like this look at the Take a Note Planner. This is a total new to me one this year, and I just really, really wanted it. Be sure to like and subscribe and follow me along, and I will catch you next time. Thanks so much for watching, guys.